In the West Bank, Palestine, 80% of the cultivated land is planted with olive trees. The Canaan Fair Trade Company installed a state-of-the-art olive press just a few years ago and is on its way to branding Palestine as the home of world-class olive oil. Melinda Tuhus reports from Janine, Palestine. Canaan Fair Trade Company works with marginalized farmers, organizing 1,700 of them into 43 cooperatives in the West Bank. Ahmed Abu Farha is the manager of the olive press, imported from Italy. Our olive press presses the olives, um, cold pressing without heat, without, hot, without, without using hot water, to, to maintain high quality of the product. And it also uses the nitrogen, the, the parts of the olive press is feeded with nitrogen, the idea is to prevent oxygen and the air from oxidizing the product. To qualify as extra virgin olive oil, which brings the highest price, farmers must harvest their olives by hand, not with rakes, and transport them immediately to the press in special containers that prevent bruising. The olives are washed and pressed. Then Abu Farha explains what comes next. Here is the central fuge where the olive pits the skin of the olives, the solid parts, go from downstairs back uh, to the outside and the liquid, which is olive oil and water, go to the separators. And here is the separators which separate the oil from the water and the farmer can get the oil from that part. The refuse is turned into a fuel that the farmers take home to burn in their ovens. The farmers sell most of their oil to Canaan Free Trade, but keep some for their own use. Last year, the co-op exported 450 metric tons of olive oil to Europe, North America, Australia, Japan, and Korea. The lower quality oil is sold to make Dr. Bronner's magic soaps. Hassan Hamel Samar, one of the co-op member farmers, harvests his 400 olive trees in a village near Janin. He says he makes more money now that he sells his olive oil to Canaan Fair Trade. <laughs> He says uh, they are very nice people and they, they treat the, the farmers very good and they give uh, scholarships to the children of the farmers. The size of the olives is determined in part by the moisture content in the soil. Since Palestinians receive about a fifth as much water as Israeli settlers in the West Bank and are not allowed any water for irrigation, Abu Farha says that limits the size of the olives in many places and many trees die for lack of water. Canaan Fair Trade helps give out 10,000 trees each year under the Trees for Life program of the Palestine Fair Trade Association. They go to new farmers or to replace trees lost to uprooting or burning by the settlers or the Israeli Defense Forces. The three types of olive oil Canaan sells are stocked on the shelves of high-end stores like Whole Foods in the U.S. and Sainsbury in Britain, 16 countries in all, with sales of $5 million last year. Melinda Tuhus, FSRN. Janine, Palestine.